Remember the last time you bought a cassette? Some people probably watching this don't even know what a cassette is. That's... Do you think? is sadly probably true. It seems it's a trend that's been slowly dying out, with only 4,000 albums sold on tape in the UK last year, compared to 83 million. That was at the end of the 80s. From today, we're being urged to have our Walkmans at the ready. It's 50 years since the cassette was first launched at the Berlin Radio Show. And to celebrate, today's been declared Cassette Store Day. Bands from all over the world have been releasing their albums on tape as part of those celebrations, and Colin Patterson has been looking at all of that. Time to rewind. The cassette is back. In the 80s, it revolutionised the music industry, overtaking vinyl as the way people bought albums. Another four copies of Bruce Springsteen's ever popular Born in the USA. And causing Cliff Richard to go roller skating in a shopping centre. Tapes were all but erased in the 90s by the CD, but fast forward to the present, and shops as far away as Helsinki, Tokyo and Buenos Aires are stocking up once again for the first cassette store day. He's going to be taken down to rough trade this afternoon. Radio One's Jen Long has helped organise the event and believes there are real reasons why things could turn around for the cassette. Partly nostalgia, partly novelty, but a lot of it has to do with kind of the economic climate that we are living in, no one really has that much disposable income and if you're a massive music fan and you want to start a label and you want to put out bands that you really love and you want to get involved with that side of things then the cheapest way to do it is to start a cassette label. To say what I learned to believe it. And acts are doing their part. Bright Light, Bright Light are joining the likes of the Flaming Lips by releasing an album on cassette today. It encourages people to listen to things start to finish, so it's tricky to fast forward through a cassette much, you know, with the CD you can do that really, really simply, but it's much harder with a cassette, and I think it makes the experience a lot nicer. At the AIM Independent Music Awards this week, there was a lot of fondness for the format. My wife still keeps the cassettes that I made for her, and I've kept a lot of cassettes that people made for me, because you know that it, it takes forever to do it. I hopped back to get my first Walkman, which was the size of a block of flats, and I used to lug it round, and you'd buy your cassette, and you'd put it in there, and it would wear out, and you'd buy another one, and then buy another one. I look at my cassettes longingly and think, I must get a new play. You know, some days I just stand there with a pencil just winding them all back, you know, back to the start, because I've got no way of listening to them anymore. But now there is once again a way of buying them. Banquet Records in Kingston is one of the stores taking part. You're never going to have lots of cassettes in this record shop again, though, are you? Well, we'll see. I mean, there was a time when vinyl was thought to be dead, and that came back. Now we sell more vinyl than we do CDs. What do you make a cassette day? Is this just a gimmick? There's, there's certainly an aspect of, of gimmick, but I, I think, like, I think it's just fun, and if you, if you replace the word gimmick with fun, it's a bit more what it's about. And one of their regular customers is particularly excited because he's been listening to tapes pretty much on a loop since the 80s. I let them have their a la carte digital stuff any day of the week, but I love cassettes. And the thing is, if you get a cassette and you put it in your Walkman, you can't really carry that many, so you have to keep listening to that same cassette so you find all the gold in there. It may be on a tiny scale, but unlikely as it seems, it could be time to eject thoughts about the end of the cassette. Colin Patterson, BBC News. So, is there still a place in our hearts for cassettes and those lovingly crafted mixed tapes? Uh, let's talk about it now with uh, music journalist Matt White and Michael Randall from Leeds Music Shop Norman Records. Morning. Morning. Morning, Beth. Morning. So, who's brought the cassettes in? I have. <laughs> Funny oh, that. Come yeah. on. Talk, well, who's the, what is the selection you've got there? There's, are these well, new ones? There's all sorts. Old there's, ones? there's a couple that are coming out for this uh, cassette store day, one by Out of the Driving. One yeah. by a band that I'll just call Messed Up. OK. Um, and then there's a few by... Uh, a couple, couple by Leeds bands. This one's Etai Kashiki, a bit of noise rock. OK. This is the Hookworms. And rather tape. delightfully, you brought in... Well, well, this is my favourite, really, is... Yes. Uh, you know, many of us of a certain age will remember doing these compilation tapes. Yeah, well, I, I made that one uh, last night, actually. Last night? As a, as a gift for Matt, who oh, was uh, yes, here, right. here to argue against cassettes, so I thought I would... Uh, I uh, just could talk us a little mind, bit through your choices that you've done because there's from all over. I mean, there's one from 1966, The Avengers. Yeah. Uh, um, time I, I bomb. always try to do some sort of little theme on my mixes. On this one, there's 
there's no two song, two consecutive songs from the same decade. There's everything from the 40s to the 2010s. Matt, so, um, yeah, go yeah, on, key Matt. question. Do you have something? I'm going to give it to you because it's yours. Do you have something to play it on? No, I don't, nobody has anything to play it on anymore. Oh. Do they? No one has, has cassette players. A lot I of like people that, still do, you know. One of the skills of making mixtapes, I think, was not just choosing the music, but managing to write everything on because there wasn't a big space. So well done on that. Thanks. But, but you're not in, in your studio because you're, you're a DJ. I mean, you, you yeah. do not have a cassette. Is there not, no longer have a cassette player? No longer cassette players. There's CD players, but they're not even used anymore. Everything is digital. And I think that's pretty much the case in most homes now. I collect vinyl as well, so I still I have that nostalgia and I look back and I like the physicality. Mm. But with vinyl, you've got putting the needle on the record, hearing the scratches before the song starts. And I don't think you have that with cassettes. Well, you I have the clunk and yeah, the play button. Cassettes have their own distinctive sounds as a hiss. well. A yeah, hiss. like uh, I mean, the, there is a slight hiss, although obviously with noise reduction you can take a lot of the hiss off. And actually, if you've got a well-recorded cassette on a decent tape player, then it will sound, in my opinion, nearly as good as vinyl. Um, there's a lot of affection. There's a lot of affection for the cassettes out um, this morning. Lots of people sending us messages. Um, I have a massive collection, says Jake. Um, Michael says misses the days of cassettes and vinyls. Nothing like the sound of real music. Lots of them talking about this though. Um, Sharon says I had loads. They were a pain. And you'll know about this when they got jammed and all the tames spewed out. They weren't really great technology, yeah, well, were they? I, th I think they they remain great technology. I oh mean, come on, all that feeling about their the faults. But like, I think a lot of technology nowadays isn't without its faults either. Like, if you take CDs, then you know you got all sort of problems with when they get scratched. Because manually, you could you could start skipping. Or... Yeah, because you could put a pencil in, couldn't you? That was the one tool that. you had to have with a cassette. You had to have a pencil so you could wind it back up if it come out. And the skill was just getting it smoothly. Because if it went in crinkled, yeah, yeah, you don't want it to go in twisted. Now, Matt, are you are you slightly touched? I mean, Michael's gone to the trouble of uh, he's put together a compilation mm. for you. And in the old days, that used <laughs> to take a lot of thought and effort and your thing and it takes ages and you fiddle. I mean, there's something really isn't there something really sort of charming and touching about that? There is. And it, it proves that someone's gone to a lot of trouble. If you make a, a mixtape now on C D, you're just clicking MP3s and you're pressing burn. And that's it. You don't have to sit there and listen to the songs. But with this, you have to choose, you have to get the vinyl, put it on the deck, press record and play make sure you stop it, and make sure it fits in. Because with CDs, you know how much time's left, but with a cassette, you've got yeah, to exactly. kind of guess What's it What's the equivalent judge now? It. Do you, like, make a playlist and send it to somebody, or, do, or does it just...? Do you not make mixtapes anymore on, on CD? No. Oh, I should have brought you one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but people do it on CD. It's just on, on iTunes. You can just select your songs, click burn, and then within two, three minutes, you've yeah. got this CD ready. But no, love's gone into it. And I'm guessing love's gone into that. Yeah, and you yeah, can I mean, still, a on a technical note, life. quite a few people saying they've got nothing to play it on. You can still go and buy a cassette player, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Second hand, yeah. not in... Well, I mean, like, I, yeah, I got my cassette player second hand, like, from the local second hand stop store. It was about £10, Technics, double cassette tape. High speed dubbing. And a lot of talking what more books could you want? are on tape still, aren't they? We were saying a lot of yes. people still listen to talking books on tape. In the car, I think. A lot of car stereos still have cassettes. That's right. yes. And so audio books are good for long car journeys, so people put them mm. in the cars. But, but even car stereos now are all CDs and MP3 players built into cars. Enjoy the uh, It's home. lovely. Oh, Michael, well that's, so, that's just lovely that you brought that in and spent two hours of your time for Matt, who clearly... Who hasn't done anything in the <laughs> yeah, Thank you very much. One of my favourite okay. uh, messages we had. My last car purchase was seven years ago. We bought a two-year-old Toyota. What swung the deal? It had a tape player. See, people want them. Thank Headlines you. coming up. People still do. <laughs> Have you ever done any journalism?